Uganda Education Act 2008 that gives mandate and responsibility for parents and guidance to feed their children in school. I'm here to find out how the parents in this school embrace school feeding program. About the feeding program, it is moving well. We started uh, this term. We, we had a parents meeting and uh, when we were able to before then, they uh, accepted and uh, we started directly this time. And it is moving well, they contributed. And uh, also, uh, this program is one of the policy of government where parents are supposed to provide with the meals for their children. So, we thought it was that it is, particularly P7, has to feed here in the school. Uh, we tried other classes, but they said. They cannot afford so their parents and parents have uh, children in P7, P5, P6, and so on. So they said you should start, you should start, start, start on P7. And it will be moving on well. And uh, the reason why we we introduced the feeding program is uh, as being one of the programs of government. Uh, we, we realize we should really go hungry. So concentration in the class becomes hard. So we decided with the parents to, for candidates to eat in the school because some students are very far. They cannot manage to go for, for lunch. When they go, they come very late. That's why we had a meeting. We called the parents of these seven candidates. They came. We talked to them. They agreed that their children should feed in the school for this time. And we found it was very good. Because they are always here in time, then during lunch time they don't go far. After eating, they relax for maybe for 10 minutes, they enter the class. So I think it is okay to improve their performance. It will improve our performance in school. It, uh, it keeps order in school and also it helps us to manage time. We have told our parents that. Feeding in school is good because it helps us to manage time and improve our performance in school so that we pass in a good, good division. To improve our performances, it also gives time for special studies. It also improves late coming in the class. Plan the making for me. In term one, around February, the parents said that the feeding should kick off immediately when the second term begins. So when this term began, we called the parents. They, they came and accepted accepted the feeding program. That's why this the whole of this term the feeding program is going very well. And then uh, when we started to improve, uh, we started feeding the school. The attendance of uh, the, the learners have greatly improved around 90% of the, of the attendance. All the learners were uh, around 90, 90% are always around, both in the morning and in the afternoon. Then uh, even concerning the teaching, because the learners are feeding the school, the teachers used to come early in the morning exactly seven, half past seven the lesson the lesson is kicked off and we do close late around 5 5 30 p.m that's when we close then we leave we give some work for the learner to this one of the fundamental rights of the children is feeding we need to nourish the body of the children through feeding and providing food food is one of the requirements for these children to grow healthy and we are aware that it's entailed in their right. In regards to schooling, when we provided food to school and for children to school, we shall be able to manage time effectively. We would not lose a lot of time for teaching and learning. Children will grow healthy, they will be able to concentrate in a class.
an attack that will be also effective learning as they continue growing. I therefore would like to urge parents to hold hands together, support the children's reading, because even at home, especially during holidays, when these learners go to garden, at least they have some snacks to take in to give them energy to do that work. But here are children who are growing, who are playing, who are concentrating in studies. All of those activities need energy. When we want our children to concentrate, let's provide their food, which will nourish their brain, their body, to be healthy, to concentrate in class, which will give them energy to play and express themselves during co-curricular activities. Parents take feeding seriously. If you are able to provide food for these children while they are with you at home, why not here? Let us try to get means of how we can support their feeding. <laughs> In order to enhance the performance of children in the school, uh, the parents here in the local primary school and press uh, school feeding program, Covid Teta in the local primary school.